One early spring night, I got off the metro after an evening out with friends and turned the corner toward my apartment just as the Eiffel Tower began its hourly twinkling. In that moment, I was overcome with the joy at the thought that this was my life. I felt that way a lot in the year that I lived in Paris, which isn't to say that it wasn't also challenging. It was often painful for all the ways that I was found wanting. It's a time in my life that I would do so much differently now that I can only see those things because of everything I learned along the way. I owe that city a great deal. I learned a lot about myself while also living the singular wonder of daily strolls and commutes in a place thriving with beauty and culture and history and above all, life. And now this city which gave me so much is hurting and my heart breaks for it. It is not the only place suffering, though it's the one that stands out in my mind. Part of me feels a little guilty for contributing to this unjust failure of our collective consciousness, but there it is. One's capacity for grief and compassion need not be some sort of zero-sum game. Paris just happens to be a place where a significant piece of my heart still resides, and more importantly, it's a place where people I know still reside. I also know that I stand a few steps removed from the immediate agony of this city. It's a bit like hearing about a tragedy befalling an old friend that you've lost touch with. I kept meaning to call, you know? For all the good it does, and not much, I suspect, my thoughts are with my beautiful old friend. I miss her dearly, now as much as ever, and I hope her celebrated light helps her heal with the same grace that has allowed her to weather so much in the past.